Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel. So in today's video, we will be solving or we will be using performance curves for pump in Aspen Hisis. We have done this activity in Aspen Plus where the activity was 14B performance curves in Aspen Plus and in today's activity, it will be in Aspen Hisis. So I have taken the same example which we have solved in Aspen Plus and now we are solving the same example in Aspen Hisis. I will give the description of the video where we had solved the performance curve in Aspen Plus and today's part is of Aspen Hisis. But before solving this, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. So now the problem description is that a mixture which contains 58% hexane and 58% pentane needs to be pumped. The feed is entering the pump at 30 degrees centigrade, one bar and at a mass flow rate of 30,000 kg per hour. Calculate the discharge pressure and required duty of the pump as you have been provided with the pump curve data. So we have been given all the conditions of the feed stream like temperature, pressure, flow and composition. And as we know the degree of freedom in case of pump is 1 means we need to specify one variable to completely specify the equipment or the block. So now looking at the pump performance curve, the performance curve is of Gould's pump model 3196 and we have been given the GPMs, the head accordingly and efficiency it will be included in case of Aspen Hisis. In case of Aspen Plus, the efficiency was specified as 80% if you remember our previous video but in this case we have to take efficiency per part as well. How does that mean? We need to go to the Excel sheet to check it. Like here, you can see in Excel, all of the data is placed flow in GPM gallons per minute, head in fit, efficiency in percentage. So, for each point, the flow, head, and efficiency values are given, and it ranges from 25 GPM to 450 GPM for the pump curve. And accordingly, for each point, head and efficiency values are given. So what we need to do, we need to first go to the Aspen Hisis and simply specify the feed stream, specify the block and then we had to add the curve over here. So let's quickly go to the Aspen Hisis. So now we will first click on this new and we will add the component and what are these components? Pentane and Hexane and Pentane and Hexane are added. The next task is to add the fluid package, click on this add. Go down and select Pangrobinson as the thermodynamic property package. Obviously, we know that these are the two requirements which we need to meet before going to the simulation environment. So now going to the simulation environment and this pump is present over here. Clicking on it, placing over here and doing the connections as given like changing its name to pump, inlet stream, outlet stream and the energy stream which is attached as well. Now in worksheet, we have been specified that the temperature of 30 degrees centigrade for the feed stream, pressure of 1 bar, flow, mass flow rate of 30,000 kg per hour and if we double click it, we can specify the composition over here and it is the mass composition. If we go back to our problem statement that 58% hexane and 58% pentane. So it means mass fraction, weight fraction 0.5 for pentane and 0.5 for hexane. So clicking on it and you can see the feed stream is completely specified and it can be confirmed over here as well that its color has been changed from sky blue to dark blue. Now we need to specify the curve and how it can be specified you need to go to this rating tab. In characteristic curve this is curve name and you can see add curve, plot curve, generate curve. So obviously we need to click on this add curve. Now this is pump curve 1, its name, flow units, we need to first change its unit to the required unit which is USGPM and changing head units to fit. Now we need to specify flow, head, percentage efficiency, speed can be specified as well if it is provided in the current case we do not provide it this value. So now what we can do, we can simply go back to the excel sheet and specify one by one like 25 is the flow rate 115.3 is the head and 75% efficiency so it will again take time and there are chances that you may 
do some error in it so what we need to do we need to simply go here and copy all of it and simply placing all of it here so all of the values are placed over here successfully and simply closing it now you need to click on this use curve and it says enable curves in calculation in steady state so obviously you need to click use curves here but obviously it will not converge and it will saying over specified it means that we have specified more values now if we go back to this curve once more time we have specified flow we have specified head but if you see this percentage efficiency it is by default specified in pump in aspen hyces where it is specified if you go back to the design parameters you can see this adiabatic efficiency is specified if this adiabatic efficiency is specified it will obviously be over specified so what we need to do we need to delete this value and once we delete it it has become okay so by default efficiency cannot be accepted the efficiency will be taken from the curve which is 76.47 percent the delta p is 2.036 bar the pressure ratio is 3.036 the duty of the pump requirement is 3.50020 kilowatt and if we go to this worksheet we can see that the pressure of the outlet stream using the information of the pump curve is 3.036 bar with a heat flow of obviously 3012 kilocalories per hour and obviously we can go to these properties and we can check all the properties over here density enthalpy entropy co2 loading mass exergy obviously we, in previous videos we have seen exergy analysis as well and accordingly all of the information cp values are given over here and there will be no change in the composition this is the molar composition by default but by mass it will be 0.5 for pentane and 0.5 for hexane similarly if you go to this performance tab the pressure head is 32.75 velocity head value is given total power is given and if you go to this power result total rotor power is this there is no loss consider frictional loss of the fluid power is 3.5 but actually once we consider the frictional losses this fluid power will be 3.5 but the total rotor power will increase in the system now if we go back to this rating tab if you want to plot the curve you can see that is the curve and the red point shows the operating point of the curve and this is by head like flow versus head and if you change it to efficiency that flow versus efficiency you can see the red point is again in the curve so it shows that the data is right as well and similarly if you go to this npsh the required npsh obviously you have to specify it but the available NPSH is 9.435 meters. If the required NPSH is higher than available, the pump will cavitate as we have seen. Like if I specify it as 9.5, it will say pump is cavitated. So the basic concept in our BS books have been proven to be right. So if we take it to 9.4, it will be okay. So obviously the required should always be equal to or less than the available. Then nozzles, information, inertia information, electric motor information and design information so these are the all informations which can be also be given if you want to rigorously simulate the pump in aspen hyces so that's it from this video thank you so much please do watch like share the video and subscribe to the channel aspen tech please click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel till then it's goodbye stay tuned